Hi everyone, it's Sloan Rhodes with your spiritual guidance for the week of December 24th, 2017. This is for all astrological signs. This is a general energetic wind that is blowing through for the week for all astrological signs. So today I'm going to be drawing one card in the position of the overarching theme from the Druid Craft Tarot deck, and then three cards from the Chakra Oracle card deck by Rochelle Sharman, one for what our ego may try to distract us with based on the overarching theme, one in the position of what our heart is asking that we lovingly and gently explore further, and one card in the position of what we can look forward to regardless. So let's just go ahead and get started. All Astrological Signs, the week of December 24th. 2017. Overarching theme from the Druid Craft Tarot deck. This card is by Philip and Stephanie Carr Gom and illustrated by Will Worthington. Six of Cups. Oh, what a beautiful card. So the overarching theme is the Six of Cups. Beautiful card of nostalgia. Beautiful card of children, honoring children, honoring the inner child. Um, again, nostalgia. People and experiences, circumstances, patterns coming back from the past to be looked at again. So you may be dealing, and we are in the holiday season, you may be um, have an opportunity this week to see children, you know, as part of family gatherings, um, to celebrate children, uh, and also to see people from the past uh, who you may have lost contact with during the year. Beautiful, beautiful energy. It's a lovely card. Um, again, and a very sweet, loving card in terms of um, nostalgic um, kinds of energies, looking at things with a gentle, soft eye. So I really love that um, as the overarching theme here. And it's a sweet nostalgia. It's not a, a nostalgia that um, is bitter, <laughs> you know. Nostalgia generally, it has a, a sweetness to it. You know, we don't usually think of nostalgia as being bitter, but it can turn. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see what the egoic energy is, but um, it can turn sometimes. But You know, a lot of times we get caught in the reminiscing and, oh, it was so good, and then suddenly it turns into, but why don't I have it now? <laughs> Right? Or my children are growing up and they're never going to be, you know, it's never going to be like this and the ego can come in in very sneaky ways. Um, a lot of times when we think about the past, sometimes it can be very, very difficult to do so for, uh, for very long before the ego pops in to say, why can't it be like that now? Or you're lacking something now because you used to have something better, this kind of thing. So just be, be conscious of it. All right, so ego, heart, we can look forward to regardless. Okay, here we go. Okay, so our ego may try to distract us with the balance card. Our heart is asking that we explore further the visualization. And beautiful card, uh, what we can look forward to regardless is family. Let's check something. Okay, so we have this idea of nostalgia for the week, of children, of looking back with a gentle, ro through rose-colored glasses, people and experiences coming back from the past, looking at older patterns with a more loving eye. Um, beautiful energy, I love it for the holidays, right? Um, and then our ego may try to distract us with the balance card. Um, again, as I already mentioned, sometimes, you know, we start to uh, reminisce, or we think about, well, let's do it like, let's, I want to talk about one more thing that I didn't already talk about in terms of balance, in terms of children, if we look at children here. You know, at first it turns into, oh, look, let's celebrate the children. And then the ego comes in like, you're not doing enough for your children. You need to do more. Or if you are a grown child, a grown-up child going home to the fam to the senior families, you know, your parents possibly, um, the ego can come in and be like, I always give to them and they never give back. You know, they're, they're always lacking. They don't give me enough. They don't give me enough love. They don't give me enough this. Um, it is based on the base chakra, so how you feel safe and secure in the world. And so for some of you who have children, it may be like, you know, I'm not doing enough from, you know, you, you know the ego coming in, the egoic energy coming in. You need to do more for your children. Um, So-and-so's kids have this, and you don't have that for yours, and your kids aren't going to have enough in the world. They're not going to be successful. And, it, you know, that whole train of thought can be very um, 
uh, frightening and keeps that fear and adrenaline running through the body. So, and then you don't feel safe in the world, then you don't feel like you can provide for your children, and then they, then they won't be safe in the world. And then conversely, if you are seen, if you're an adult child, you know, you're no longer a child of yourself, but you're an adult and you go home to the family, or even if you don't see them, but you might, you might come in, the nostalgia turns into, takes that, you know, that egoic turn into fear and anxiety and lack. Why don't you have it now? My parents didn't do enough for me, this kind of thing. So just be aware of it. And then you start to feel unsafe. You begin to, you know, flash back to periods of time where maybe you felt like you weren't cared for well enough or things like that. So... It's important that we be a conscious of it. It doesn't mean that we'll always be able to prevent those energies from coming in. That's not the goal ever because we always will have our egoic energy. It's just that we can begin to quiet it down, recognize it and say, ah, I see you coming in ego to try to distract me with that fear and anxiety away from the beauty of this present moment, honoring the energy of children, honoring, honoring the energy of of the past in a way that feels good to my heart and soul. Now you are being encouraged with a joyful, playful, open heart to explore visualization more. Your third eye, perceiving your world in a way that feels better. You know, if you are looking at your children and you and you um, can tell a story about how wonderful their lives are going to be. Not that you're. Um, not that you need it to be different in order to uh, make your ego feel better, but because it'll be so exciting to imagine a world in which your children are giving to the planet or, or living um, happy lives or experiencing wonderful careers. You know, whatever makes you feel good. Visualizing what you want in a way that's playful, joyful, without the need that it be that way, but just as an exercise in imagination. Um, and again, with your family too, you know, if you are, if this is an energy that comes in and you begin to look at your past and you've always, always looked at your past in one particular way in which it involved lack or that your family didn't treat you well, you can begin to disengage from that egoic, harder kind of feel and begin to imagine a life in which your parents gave to you in the best way that they knew possible based on their own limitations, their own wounds, their own issues and problems. And and it's not always easy. I'm not saying it's always going to be easy, but the heart is always loving and open. So it's it's um, being encouraged here. Um, it's always your choice, of course, and you do what feels right and true for you. Um, no one can ever tell you what's right and true for you or how fast you need to move along this path because we all have our own journey towards consciousness, you know, on every single issue. So be gentle with yourself. Um, but this is what your heart is encouraging that you do more of during the week. Take a gentle approach to looking at the way in which you perceive your world. Is it accurate for who you are now as opposed to who you were in the past? You know, perhaps your parents have changed. You know, if this is looking back at the past and how you were raised, we kind of see he's looking back, almost like he's looking in, into a dream of how he used to be. Or even, it could also be that he's looking at his own children, but in this particular um, extra, um, example that I'm giving, um, perceiving your past from who you are now, as opposed to the woundings that you had in the moment as a child, right? And perceiving it differently, you know? Something to think about. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just what, you know, the energies that are coming in here. And what you can look forward to regardless, though, is family. It's, it's already so clear here. Um, and even here we see um, we have the, the base chakra, the six and the five here on either side. And then we have the visualization, our perception, how we perceive things with um, the openness of spirit with our ability to see beyond the limited um, external, limited manifestations of things and into the deeper spiritual meaning behind things. How is that for me that I experienced that when I was younger? How have I grown and become, begun, um, become more open to love because of what I experienced earlier? How am I treating my children differently because of how I was raised? Or how am I continuing to build upon 
the love that my family gave me with my own children. It's just a way of seeing things a little differently with that heart energy. Um, but this idea of strength, of safety, of security is extremely um, powerful this week with the egoic energy trying to distract you here with the balance, feeling unbalanced. And then what you can look forward to regardless is the family energy. Again, how we feel safe and secure. And if you aren't currently engaging with your family of origin, you know, your friends are the family, your co-workers are your family, the people with whom you feel closest are, you know, can be representative of your family here. And also, even if you're not physically with your family, those energies can always be explored further. Um, but that's what we can have to, and we, and we have with this family card, I will say, the idea of the number five. So there's an opportunity here to change around this, to create some, some changes here. Let me just double check one more thing. So I will say too that with this card, the visualization card, um, as I just checked the booklet and I wanted to make sure I didn't uh, leave anything out, there is also an opportunity during this week to pay more attention to your dreams. Your dreams may have, um, it's another way for your guides and angels to come in and guide you during the sleep state where you're more open, uh, you're not so closed down and um, you may, if it resonates with you, you may want to write down your dreams for the week so that you can, um, even if it's just a, a um, one thing that you remember. It's just a way to acknowledge your, that your guides and angels, the communication from your guides and angels, and kind of let them know, like, hey, you know, I got the message kind of thing. Um, but there's a lot here on how you feel safe and secure, and it has to do with the idea of honoring those who are vulnerable, honoring our the past um, with a more gentle, romantic, not necessarily romantic love in terms of uh, uh, sexuality, but romantic in terms of a sweeter, more gentle feel for the week. It's, it's what is the overarching theme. Again, the ego can come in and try to distract you, like you're out of balance, this wasn't, it was never right, you know, and try to try to create um, wilder swings here. And, and um, the heart is saying, no, you know, consider the way that you can perceive things differently. Visualize things from um, a different perspective, you know, from your, you know, maybe you look at your, you know, your parents and how you know, they see you and how you perceive that they see you. And is that accurate? You know, or is it clouded by our egoic needs, wants, and woundings from from, um, from when we were younger, this kind of energy? So a lot of messages in there. Um, but remember, you hold your own safety and security because it's, it's important this week to remember that you are safe and secure and no matter what people do or don't do around you or whether your needs are seemingly being met or not met, by your loved ones, by your children, you know. Again, it could even be for some of you that you give so much to your children this week and you feel like they're ungrateful. <laughs> you know, that, that could be the egoic energy coming in too. So just, you know, you'll notice it in your own life. When The more that you can kind of notice that when the ego comes in, it becomes more playful and like a game. It doesn't always feel good, but you get better and faster at recognizing it. So you're able to drop into the heart more quickly and more often, which leads to a more peaceful, um, joyful um, experience here. So anyway, I hope you find that helpful. I wish um, you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And, and I think I'll have one more video before the New Year. So I won't say Happy New Year yet, but um, much love to you.